tile this is one cell BMS and last time it was not very professionally done so I thought I will improve it so let's see what we have first in this package so we have few parts we have two strips of course for welding the battery we have two uh, plastic cover for the battery one sticker one uh, connector for the positive part we have a plastic cup and the circuit itself basically what it is done it's very simple uh, this part which is the BMS should be connected to the positive and the negative of the battery that's all and the other side is the new negative so what it will do when it need to uh, over count protection over charge uh, over discharge it will just disconnect the minus of the battery so basically this is all you need to understand in order to connect it correctly so we will do now all the welding and I will try to do it much better than I did last time so now I want to weld all the parts so I will use my uh, preferred welder see my previous video for this so what I'm going to do uh, now the setting is very low because last time I, I seen that I'm using a lot of current and this can ruin uh, the board your battery or whatever so what it, the best way is not to solder it uh, but welding it and there is a there is a part of metal in the PCB that is prepared for this welding part so we will try to use it it's a little tricky because it's not an easy so very gently oh, this is still very strong although we set it to very low level so maybe there is a problem with this butter anyway one side is welded already we'll soon do the other side so using now the BI FRC which is also should be very well for such a small product okay did you see this is more than enough for this kind of welding so now of course what we need to do is connect these two both sides of this plastic and remember of course what is the positive part so the positive will go here to this exit which is a little different than the other one and the negative will go to this part so since this is the negative and I don't want to make any mistakes uh, I don't want to make any mistakes so I will cut it so I will know that this is the negative part So next of course is to connect it to our battery but let's do it in a few steps and I will explain. So first I want to connect the negative to the negative of this cell. So I will do it. I want to weld it of course. I think this is enough next thing is of course to cut the part of the wire and then to connect it like this but before doing it now let's see the second part that I sought to do is of course to put the plastic cap why I'm putting it now because I want the uh, I want this contact to go from side to side of the battery 
and I don't want to do any shot with it so I think it would be better before applying everything is to put this plastic and then connect uh, everything and then I will put the other plastic so now I will heat it up Okay. okay, so now I can connect it like this and then the other part will go to the positive of this battery. something like this I will do a shot in order to see that nothing explodes and nothing get hot just to make sure so it looks okay now what I'm going to do is two things uh, I need to connect it to this side of the battery and also to the cap so I will weld it to both sides so I will show you now what I mean so something like this and now I want to do two welds one for this part ok I applied a few spots and the other side will go to the cap also that I want it to be here placed here so I will also weld to the cap side let's see yes it did catch it now the other side, I can bend it, oh it is a little hot, and I can put it on the top of the cap of the battery. So now everything is connected, ah, you see it is a little uh, black from the wood that caught all the, the heat. So now last thing to do I think maybe this is what they meant while doing it is maybe yes put this sticker here something like this this is probably what they meant and after doing all this put the other cap the other plastic to cover everything together so now you have to admit that it looks much more professional Yeah. So now everything looks perfectly professional and I have all the protection to this cell. We can see we have 3.88 volt so everything is perfectly fine. Now in order to check uh, the over voltage I will need to charge it to maximum and then see that our protection works I can re 
okay so now it is clean and shiny and everything is well so we have our protected cell professionally welded without any soldering and hopefully it is working fine so thank you that's all and bye